beautiful ball uh, terrain master standard time chronometer and this watch is beautiful this watch is um let's start off with the let's start off with the movement this time do something different this one is the uh 2895 um um eta based movement and this watch is um calibrated by ball to uh, reach chronometer uh, standards and this watch has 27 joules it has an extra jewel because it does have um, uh, uh, independent uh, seconds hand right above six o'clock uh, normally it would be a three-hander and they do make one like that but this one uh, three hands on one stock but this one has a separate uh, sub dial for the second hand which is really uh, tastefully done. Now, it's some neat things uh, going on with this watch. You get a screw down crown, 30 meters of water resistance, a sapphire front, and sapphire back with the screw down crown. And this watch is 5,000 G's um, um, shock resistance. So it's extremely shock resistant. Um, and I really like the fired, uh, heat treated, blued hands on this one. I like the date wheel over there, just inboard of the three o'clock uh, painting, and all the indices on here are painted on this beautiful um, kill fired enamel dial. And another thing that's interesting on this watch is the number seven is the um, Ball and Company right there. Number seven, that's a word, it says Ball and Company. Uh, made to look like a number seven uh, Swiss made of course uh, tritium tubes that uh, stand up vertically instead of horizontally applied they just drilled right through the um, dial and you can see all the um, tubes and the 12 o'clock tube is a different color and you'll see that in a second now you got these beautiful uh, cathedral style hands on this one and nice crown with the ball logo, heavily knurled, easy to get, smooth winding, lovely polished case, two-stepped bezel, as you can see. Real nice polishing on the sides. Ball does a real good um, um, job with their finishing. And look at the printing on this dial. It is phenomenal. Look at that anti-reflective uh, coated crystal and I just let me check if I can get in close so you can see the printing on this dial this is fantastic look at that automatic chronometer on this beautiful porcelain dial this this watch is just fantastic if you're a fan of porcelain dial then this one is a must now you get a beautiful drape on this uh, on this ball bracelet now, it, this one has different style links. I don't know what they call this, but they are connected by these small parts right here. And then you just get like a, a large block, almost looks like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a rectangular um, shape ingot. It's it's just really solid and really uh uh, heavy duty now this bracelet is affixed you can see with screws not pins and sleeves you get the ball logo signed and then you have a twin butterfly all milk class pressure fit class that just comes right off with a snake but these do uh, fit really snug and uh, you shouldn't have any problems with that now the movement is adorned with uh, some Cote de Genève's and the ball uh, printing on the rotor. Other than that, the rest of the movement is basically, uh, it's pretty much pedestrian, but it is a workhorse um, ETA movement. And so you're never going to have any problems with that. And, and one thing I do like about the ETA um, powered watches, you can service those guys anywhere. So... Let's do some quick measurements on this one right here. Mm, from side to side, this is coming in like at a 39 
excellent dress size really thin I only about 11 millimeters thin and then the lug the lug is only going to be about a 46 so those are excellent excellent um, uh, dimensions now let's take a look at this loom of course it's going to be tritium it's going to be hard to see so I'll use the um, aid of my black light so you can see what you're going to be getting that's what the loom's going to look like and let me go full dark so you get a better idea here you go right there that's what the loom looks like once your eyes adjust and and of course tritium is going to last uh, for the better part of uh, 25 years so you don't have to worry about this watch not being visible um, when you're um, in total complete darkness you're not going to have any issues with this um, decent water resistance um, nice domed crystal with lots of distortion on the sides it's it's domed on the outsides and then kind of flattened in the middle you know something that ball does with a, with a lot of their uh, dress pieces and the beautiful uh blued uh syringe style hands you cannot beat this this watch is available right now azfinetime.com and let me know what you guys think about this one this one is a beautiful piece and it probably uh, will not last long uh, my name is Big E. That's the watch once over for today. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. God bless.